guys, this is Best Boomer back with you. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, hair colors, uh, specifically uh, sprays and such to cover the roots on your hair, um, cover the gray. I haven't been able to go to a salon now for quite a while, so I certainly am using these products. Um, so I thought I'd kind of review um, several of them. There are some some that I don't think work that well, and then there's a couple that work really well. So uh, before I get into that, please like and uh, share and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I sure appreciate that. I'm still working to try to uh, get a thousand subscribers. So thank you very much. I'm, I'm Best Boomer. So let's get started. Um, I haven't put any on my hair today. Um, I've got gray, gray roots. It kind of blends in with the color, but the color is really faded since I haven't had it done in so long. But um, I'm gonna show you a few of these that, um, I don't see the one, but uh, the ones that I, these I'm not gonna go into too much. I, I've seen them advertised and, and frankly, I've used them here uh, and I am not satisfied at all with the results of them, but I'm just gonna just quickly show you because there are, you know, there's a variety of products for this. This one is Wow Color, and I've seen this several places advertised, and I thought, you know, might be good. Um, here's what it looks like. It's a powder with a brush, and you just brush it in place uh, to cover the grays. This, to, for me, didn't work at all. It didn't really cover um, at all. So I was quite disappointed in that. Uh, I'm not even going to put that on because I want to save the space to show you the, the good ones. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the color is so light. You know, here's the color. Um, it just doesn't, doesn't do the trick. There was also, this one's called Color Mark, Gray Roots Be Gone. I think it's kind of almost like a, a magic marker kind of thing. Um, I'll show you it. So the applicator is really, really small. And I didn't find that it worked that well either. It's I guess it's pretty precise. <laughs> you know, you can get in a small area uh, or you can kind of see the mark there. It's kind of an odd color to, to cover up a lot of uh, gray, which I have a lot of gray. That's not that great of a product. This one, um, Another spray that I tried is called My Secret Correctives Touch-Up Spray. Um, and for some reason, I don't know, I wasn't that impressed with this one either. Uh, gosh, you can't hardly even see. You can tell why it wouldn't cover your hair that much. Uh, it doesn't have much to it at all. And it says that it's supposed to cover your grays. This color happened to be a light blonde. So I'm not even going to link, um, you know, those to my channel. I will link these others. These others are worth your time and money. Um, and that's what I was looking for. I try to try many, many different things and winnow them out to uh, find the ones that work the absolute best. And so the three that I think work the absolute best. The first one is, uh, this is Clairol Root Touch Up. And it's, uh, you can get this on Amazon and it's a four star product. Um, you can get a two pack for $31.90. So it's not super expensive. And let me just, I'm just gonna spray it here. And this color, um, 
let's see, what is it? Dark to medium blonde. Okay, so there you see it. Uh, dark to medium blonde. It really does cover quite well. So that one I was I was pretty happy with. And Clairol, you know, that brand, of course, has been around forever. So uh, pretty trustworthy brand. That's kind of a newer one that I've tried. Uh, the one that I have used so much over the years um, is Rita Hazen, New York, Root Concealer. It's this one right here. This is kind of my, I think, you know, my holy grail of cover-up. Um, I've seen this, you know, reviewed and advertised in numerous places. This color uh, is blonde, temporary color spray to cover up grays. And it says, shake well, best on dry styled hair. You're supposed to hold the can 10 to, or 6 to 12 inches from your hair and spray in a light spray. Bread, uh, steady stream. Don't overspray. It says a little bit goes a long way. So this can's almost empty. I think I have another one in there. Again, I tell you, if if a can, if I use up a whole product, the whole can, you, you know that's uh, one of my favorites because so many times I'll try things and you know they just aren't what they were advertised to be, and so I'll end up with all these half containers of products. I need a place for those to go. I'm not sure what to do with them. Maybe there are people who would like to try them um, and I just bag them up and send them to you. And you know, just because I don't like it doesn't mean somebody else wouldn't like it. But I try, like I say, to get the very best ones. Um, let me try this one. So this is probably quite similar to the other one. I'll get that up close. Um, you know, at various times in my cycle of coloring my hair, these um, match better than other times. So like I say, right now my hair is very faded. Uh, I live in Arizona, so the sun beats down on my hair and kind of fades it out. Uh, so I don't even know this color, what you, you know, you'd call my hair. Uh, so, you know, it's hard to get a color to match it. But this, in a normal cycle of hair coloring, which I go like every six weeks, uh, when it, the roots start to come out, this is a pretty good darn match for that. So, again, that's Rita Hazen. Um, this one you can get on Amazon. It's a four star. This one's $25 uh, for this little container. So it's more expensive, about twice as expensive as the last one, the Clairol. You decide for yourselves, you know, in looking at that and comparing them, you know, which one you think uh, did a better job. Uh, the last one, now this isn't actually uh, what I call, you know, a root cover up per se, but it does the job and also fills in, um, you know, your part area. It's topic, and you've probably heard of it, it's hair building fibers. This one's in light brown. And this is like, to me, just about like magic. Because, you know, as, as you get older, you know, a lot of times your hair does thin out. And um, back when my hair was um, naturally dark, you would, really really notice the part and I hate to say that your part gets you know a little bit wider as you get older but you know as your hair thins out it does get a little bit more noticeable and so I was looking for something to help camouflage that and a uh, topic I've seen it in a number of um, you know beauty magazines and such and I got it and lo and behold you know it also covers the roots let me just sprinkle some on here So, if you can see right here, so it's kind of multi-purpose actually. Um, it's going to cover the gray and it's, you know, it's going to add those hair fibers so that it actually, you can see right here, it actually camouflages your roots too. 
which makes you look like you have, you know, thicker hair. I've always had thick hair um, growing up as a baby. I was born with a head full of hair. And, um, but as the years go by, you know, it gets a little bit thinner and a little bit thinner. And um, it doesn't show as much now with lighter hair color uh, that I do. But with the darker hair, you could really see uh, the part line. And so that, you know, finding something like this to solve that problem is just, you know, wonderful. So keep this one in mind. Like I say, it's kind of a, a double duty product there. Uh, it's called Topic Hair Building Fibers. Um, this one is light brown, and it says it makes you look like you have full hair immediately, which it does. Uh, you know, it appears instantly. It does resist wind and rain and perspiration, so you don't have to worry about that at all. It's a four-star product. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, $24.95 for 12 grams. And I have to say, this really, really lasts Gosh, I don't even know how long I've had this, and it's not that I haven't used it. It's just it, it does um, last quite a long time. So whichever one of those, those are the top three, I think. There are so many other products on the market, uh, but they just don't do the job. I, I had one other one. I don't see it right now, but it was like a little, almost like a magic marker. I think it was L'Oreal, and it said it was a blonde color, but... I swear it came out almost a greenish color, you know, so it, you know, it didn't work that well. So um, that's it for today, uh, short and sweet, and I hope you enjoy it and you can have confidence in when I uh, review a product that uh, it does really work and it's risen to the top of all those that I've tried. So if you like my video, please like, um, share it with others and please subscribe to my channel and that channel again is Best Boomer. Thank you very much and have a great day.